In today's deep dive, reproductive and family building benefits are becoming a key part in U.S. companies' diversity and inclusion efforts. Many companies are offering to cover costs of fertility treatment and other benefits as a way to recruit more workers in today's extremely tight labor market. So for more on this, we want to bring in Money Watch reporter Megan Cirillo. Megan, thanks for joining us this morning. I actually have a very good friend who changed jobs specifically so she could work for an organization that would cover her fertility treatments. So I know it's definitely a draw for, you know, a certain type of employee. How have companies started adding fertility benefits and what kinds of treatments and procedures do they now cover? Your friend's not alone. A lot of workers are saying that these kinds of benefits are becoming increasingly important to them. And what we're seeing is we're seeing more companies cover more types of fertility and family building benefits for more workers. So that includes egg freezing, um, IVF, in, in vitro fertilization, surrogacy, and adoption costs at well. So these kinds of benefits are really inclusive of, of all sorts of types of workers who want to become parents. So I guess the big question is why? Why are companies willing to invest in this sort of thing? And what industries are kind of at the forefront of this? It's a tight labor market and companies are eyeing all sorts of ways to attract and retain top talent. And they're recognizing that if, if something gives them a, a leg up on a, on a competitor, that that's a worthwhile investment. So we're seeing companies like AT&T, companies in the tech industry, rideshare company Lyft, uh, healthcare company Johnson & Johnson, CBS News' own parent company Paramount offers uh, this kind of benefit. So we're seeing these kinds of benefits being rolled out at, at diverse companies across uh, diverse industries, and it's really giving them an edge up on, on recruitment. Um, Lyft said that it's something that employees ask about all the time. So here's the thing, though. This is not cheap. We know that these sorts of, uh, we're talking about tens of thousands of dollars when we're talking about fertility treatments. Businesses are not charities. They don't invest money unless they think they're going to get something back. And certainly employee retention means something. But do we have a, sort of a dollar value? Do we know how much companies are spending on this sort of benefit and how much they could be saving or stand to make in the long run based, based on their investment? Research has shown that, that one of the reasons why companies have been hesitant to offer this kind of benefit is because they're concerned about cost. But a, a large-scale survey found that among employers who added fertility benefits, their cost did not rise significantly. However, they earned points on the diversity and equity inclusion front. And so it paid off in the long run because employees were more likely to stay with these companies for longer. So the cost of... Um, Egg freezing, for example, can, can be up to $16,000 uh, per, per employee. A, a one round of IVF can cost $30,000. So the costs to individuals are, are very high. And I talked to a woman who works for AT&T who is a single woman who wants to someday become a parent. And she had put off freezing her eggs for a long time because she was concerned about the finances. But this benefit that AT&T offered her removed that financial barrier for her. And she said that it's one of the reasons why she has been with the company for so long and is, is so loyal to her employer. I, I can totally understand it. Like I said, I saw it with my own friend and she remains with that employer. And a part of it is, you know, it's not just that, you know, often when companies offer these sort of benefits, there are other things that they're offering as well that make it a good place to work at, you know. Um, Megan, thank you very much. Thanks, Henry.